again, I present to you the 2019 graduating class of Graham Capelson High School. <laughs> Senior Corral members, it's time to join the choir. At this time, please stand for the posting of the colors by our Army JRTC Color Guard, followed by the National Anthem as performed by the Graham Capelson High School Choir. Then please remain standing until they have cleared the floor. Oh, order, collar, left, face, carry, collar, read that, collar, Forward, march. Thank you, Graham Kapowson Cadets and Choir. Graduates and staff, you may now be seated. And at this point, I would like to welcome Mr. Lane Gilman, who is our speaker as voted by the class of 2019. Good evening, friends family, and students of the graduating class of 2019. Who's ready to graduate tonight? Well, tonight we celebrate a major achievement in each and every one of your lives. It will no doubt be one of many that you will achieve in your lifetime. But before we get too carried away with the post-graduation festivities and dinner celebrations and more grad parties, I have one final lesson for you. 
so catch my eyes one more time and lean on in. This will be my final set of instructions for the school year. While thinking about the different topics I could cover tonight, my mind started to race. I thought to myself, what piece of advice should I give to a group of three to 400 students that would be impactful? Like many of you did when I asked you to perform a scene from Othello by memory, or started to panic for your final video project, I started to overthink it. Should I try to solve life's greatest mysteries? Should I tell them what bills to pay first or where they should buy their first car on their own? None of it was really sinking in. Instead, I landed on a more simplistic concept that I believe holds just as much weight. The concept that I landed on, as simple as this may be, is this. Orange and blue starts with you. Now you probably think I'm joking, and I can already sense the eye rolls at this point, but have you really paid attention to the acronym before? Yes, it's plastered on the walls of every classroom and common area. Yes, it's something that the majority of teachers cover at the beginning of every year, but have you actually let the truths of the Y, the O, and the U sink in? Have you ever thought about how applicable it is to your life? Not just now, but as you continue to move forward in your life. You see, it's one thing to know what something is, but it's something very different to have an in-depth knowledge of that thing. Since I only have a couple minutes, we're gonna dive in. But really lean in. These are fundamental truths that you can take with you for the rest of your life. So we're gonna start with the why, which all of you know stands for your personal best every day. I know that we tend to consciously think about this concept between the hours of 7.40 in the morning and 2.10 in the afternoon. Some, maybe more than others. And I don't doubt that many of you apply this to various extracurricular activities. But now that you are all transitioning out of secondary school, it's time to retool this part of the concept. For many of you now, your personal best will be making sure that you get up in time for that early morning shift at work. For others, you might have a particular regimen that you would like to follow in pursuit of a post-secondary sports career. And for the rest of you, it might involve putting in some time at a grunt job to climb up, climb up the ladder of success. Whatever your plan may be, it will always be in your best interest to put your best foot forward and remember to strive for your personal best. Next, we have own your future. By now, you've been asked hundreds of times, what are you planning on doing after high school? Some of you have an extremely clear picture, while many are still trying to figure out what that picture looks like. Either way, regardless of the path that you've taken and how many times you change it, you must decide to own the path that you take. If you set up a game plan, commit to following it. If you have a goal in mind, chase it. Chances are, you'll probably succeed if you do so. You might fail a time or two, and contrary to popular opinion, that can be okay. I believe failure can be a driving, life-changing factor if you decide to own it and continue to move towards the goals that you've set. You see, owning your future can sometimes be an end product. It can sometimes be a destination. Whatever it may be, I have found that when I consciously own my future and I work towards a particular destination, I find so much more value in the process of it all and all the little things that help me on my way. Just remember, when it's all said and done, regardless of how old you are, you will never be too old to own your future. And as we come to the final stretch, we end the acronym with this. Understand that we are one. This, in my opinion, is the most foundational and fundamental part of the YOU acronym. It is a rule that extends far past the reach of any school, institution, or society. Understanding that, more often than not, you are not alone in this world is an extremely critical ideal to live by. As humans, we were created to live in community, and understanding that is essential. I look at it like this. Our current community, and whatever communities you may be a part of in the future, are different bodies. And you, as individuals, are the various parts that make that body function. Just because we are all different doesn't mean that we can't be one body. Think about all the different parts. I'll take it even further. Suppose the foot says, I am not a hand so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. And suppose the ear says, I'm not an eye, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, how could it hear? If the whole body were an ear, 
how could it uh, how could it smell? Each of you, therefore, play a part in the body just as you were intended to. If all the parts were the same, how could there be a body? As it is, there are many parts, some not as noticeable to the naked eye as others, yet all are equally important. Understanding that we are one body by blood, association, or whatever it may be, will not only help you move forward, but it will also help you accomplish anything far greater than you could ever achieve on your own. As I wrap this up, I would like to congratulate you one last time. You've made it, and I challenge you to remember that not only orange and blue, but everything you come across under the sun starts with you. Thank you. Well said, Mr. Gilman, thank you. It is now my pleasure to once again introduce the Graham Kapelson High School Choir and their director, Mr. Jason Saunders. Tonight they are performing Omnia Soul, Let Your Heart Be Stead by Z. Randall Stroop, conducted by senior Lauren Woyak. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lauren, Mr. Saunders, and our GK Choir. I would now like to introduce our senior class speakers, Cole Baker and Braden Jackson. First off, thank you to everyone involved for allowing us to speak at the most formal event of the year. I'm not sure whose bright idea that was, but we are still very thankful. Fellow classmates, families, teachers, and those underclassmen who just want to take pictures outside with all the seniors. There is a universal truth that we all have to face as high school students. Whether we like it or not, everything good must come to an end. And as much as we've looked forward to this day, we've all looked past the fact that this is one of our ends. We have experienced a lot of the last of things this year. The last football game, the last McShev trip with the fans, and the last dance. We have experienced things at this high school that we will never get to experience again. Memories that we will never forget. This high school and everyone in it have a place in our heart that we will always hold dear. But now, we all have to create our own journeys and start our own beginnings. And today is the day that that all starts. Today is the day we say goodbye to everything that's comfortable, everything that is familiar. The precise routine we've developed perfectly for the last four years is now gone. We will now have our own separate paths. And in, and in each one of your paths, we hope that there's a couple potholes along the way. I hope you all make mistakes every now and then. Because if you aren't failing and making mistakes, then you know you're just taking the easy, comfortable drive through life. But if you are failing, then you're living out of your comfort zone. You're trying new things. You're learning. You're pushing yourself. You're living. And you're impacting this world. So don't be afraid to fail. Because it's not about how hard you fall. It's always about how quickly you allow yourself to get back up. And anyways, you should all definitely already know how it's like to fail if you've ever had Miss Smile grade one of your essays. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who are unsure of your journeys or what your futures hold, live by this quote by Abraham Lincoln. The best way to predict the future is to create it. So go out and enjoy life and create your own future. Because before you know it, we're all gonna be as old as Mr. Darby and we're probably gonna be going to Denny's and getting our art benefits for Grand Slams. <laughs> so before we get to that life, enjoy yourself. Find what makes you happy, and don't stop until you get it. Because life is gonna move at you fast. So try not to miss a single moment of it. Class of 2019, we did it. And now our real life begins. Thank, Thank you. you. Come here, buddy. Let's go farther. <laughs> Thank you, Cole and Brady. I can always count on them for choosing courage over comfort. <laughs> I now would like to invite our Graham Kapowson principal up for a short message. Mr. Yurkowski, please come to the podium. Thank you, class of 2019. I'm privileged to have spent your high school years with you. I remember talking to you back in August of 2015 when you came to your link crew day in your first day of high school. Most of you have grown up quite a bit since then, even if you spent a lot of time in high school figuring out how to check your Instagram and Snapchat during class time. All jokes aside, I want to, note, I want to tell you how much you have impacted Graham Capelson High School and the accomplishments you have been part of. Who remembers Pack the Gym this year? This senior class saw the fifth annual Pack the Gym at GKHS. Many of our students experienced a new understanding and joy for the Special Olympics and our GKHS ILC students. Our music program continued to shine, winning awards, sending many, many students to state solo and ensemble. One of the members of this senior class composed a four-part choir piece that was performed by the GK Chorale at PLU. What an amazing accomplishment. 
Remember our plays this year? The, that's right, The Adams Family and Fools. In fact, The Adams Family was a musical where we actually removed the first three rows of chairs in the auditorium and had live music, not the sound recorded music. Very few high schools in the state do that. DECA received six qualifications for nationals, including a national champion. Four students completed the four-year course of study in our biomedical program and received the coveted white lab during a ceremony a few weeks ago. That's right, Health Occupation Students of America had 14 students participate in state competition and four qualify for national. These are students focusing on a future in the medical field. GKHS students showed they were ready for college too. Our AP programs grew this year with students taking an AP exam almost more than any other previous class. And more students in this class have participated in college in the high school and earned college credit while at graham Capowson. This senior class earned more than $3.7 million worth of scholarships that they're gonna use next year. Remember sports this year? GK was well represented at state competitions. Our football team went to state this year. Yep, we had individual competitors at cross country, tennis, track, track and field, golf, volleyball, and wrestling. In fact, we had a state champion at the 220 pound weight class for wrestling. This senior class had school spirit. Our homecoming and senior prom dances were very well attended. And this year's senior class seemed to be very civically engaged too and got opportunities to interact with elected officials. Some students of this class testified to the State House of Representatives and State Senate to the respective education committees about lowering the threshold to pass school construction bonds. It was exciting to see our students thinking about their future in this way and I encourage them to continue to stay civically engaged. You. Class of 2019 have made GK a better place. This will be the last time I tell you this. Remember that orange blue starts with you. Continue to think about the ways to give your personal best, to own your future, and understand that you will need to work with others to accomplish big things. Remember, relationships matter. Your relationships and the quality of those relationships with others matter. Thank you, Class of 2019, for making Graham Capowson a great place. Thank you, Mr. Yurkowski. Seniors in band, please take your place. As they are getting to their seats, the Graham Capelson High School Combined Bands, under the direction of Mr. David Stewart, will be playing Where Wayfaring Stranger, as arranged by Christopher Nelson.
Thank you, Mr. Stewart and our GK band. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce to you our 2019 valedictorian, Bailey Jobert. She will be sharing her commencement address. Good evening, everyone, and thank you to all of the family members, friends, teachers, and administrators who are here tonight. Not only does it mean a lot to have you here during this pivotal moment, but none of us graduates would be where we are today without all of the support you've shown us. Now, I could make this speech about everything we've experienced these past four years, like going to football games or trying to pass our classes, but you don't need me to remember those things. The moments that truly matter will be remembered, and it's not up to me to dictate which events should mean something. So instead, I want to talk about the future. My family has always made it a priority to travel and learn about the various cultures in the world. Traveling has allowed me the opportunity to meet people from all walks of life, from a hotel worker in Indonesia who is driven by his desire to assist others, to Portuguese veterinarians who left behind everything they knew to help wild animals in Mozambique. Interacting with people from various professions and backgrounds has taught me that the people who are the happiest in life are the ones that pursued something they're passionate about. As soon-to-be high school graduates, we have so many opportunities at our fingertips. And it's up to us to choose if we want a career that will make us a lot of money or if we want a career that will actually be fulfilling. Because after all, when we're facing the hurdles that life throws at us, it's all worth it if we're fighting for something we actually want. So as we leave high school, I encourage all of us to follow the path we want to take. Nelson Mandela once said, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Everyone sitting here tonight has the opportunity to make something of themselves and become the person they want to be. We have the power to shape our own future. And since we only have one life to live, it might as well be the one we dream of. Following your dreams can be one of the most risky decisions one makes in life, but it can also be the most rewarding. So even though I know that most of you will forget what I said here tonight, if you can remember one thing, I hope it's that we are more than just some numbers on a piece of paper. The test scores and grades we got in high school don't define us as a person, and they definitely don't define the amount of success we'll have in life. High school is just one of the many chapters of our lives, and it's the decisions afterwards that shape who we are. There is so much potential in all of us. We just have to have the courage and determination to never give up on our dreams. I sincerely wish the best of luck to everyone here, and I can't wait to see what we all achieve. Thank you. Thank you, Bailey. As she exits the stage, I ask that our senior orchestra students also join the chamber orchestra for one last performance. As they're getting ready, the orchestra will be performing here, Take This Lovely Flower, arranged and directed by our very own Mr. Aaron Julian.
Thank you, Mr. Julian and our GK Orchestra. Parents, guardians, family, and friends, it is now time to get ready to graduate our seniors. Please welcome the superintendent of Bethel School District, Mr. Tom Siegel, to present the class of 2019. As superintendent, it is my duty and my personal privilege to certify that these graduates have met the graduation requirements of the state of Washington and the Bethel School District. I am proud to present Grand Capote and Son High School's graduating class of 2019. And now please welcome President of the Bethel School Board, Ms. Brenda Rogers, accepting the class of 2019. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Bethel School District, it is my honor to speak to you, your family, faculty, and friends. You and those around you worked hard to bring you here, and you should all be very proud. A public education is a gift passed to us from those who came before. We acknowledge that gift and all it means to our communities and our country. Last week, much of the world commemorated D-Day, the invasion of the beaches of Normandy, the turning point of World War II. There was so much sacrifice and so much loss involved in that effort that the world will remember that anniversary for many decades to come. Because of all that they endured through wars and depression and all that they contributed to building our nation, that generation has come to be called the greatest generation. Those who came home and those who followed them worked hard to ensure that future generations would have opportunity for happiness and success and they believe that opportunity begins with a quality education. Most of those involved in that D-Day invasion were only a year or two older than you are, yet so incredibly much was expected of them. While that kind of warfare is never to be repeated, challenges have been faced by every generation, and they will be faced by yours. We can't predict the obstacles that will shape your lifetime, and we cannot know how, how you will handle those obstacles. Will you accept the need to keep on learning for a lifetime? Your generation, more than any that came before, will need to do that. Will you lead with integrity, imagination, and compassion? Will you care for those who are not as able, as healthy, or as educated as yourselves? Will your generation cure disease, further explore our universe, produce new energy and clean water? Will you protect our democracy and freedom? Will you form strong and healthy families? Will you be sure that you preserve, improve upon, and pass on the gift of an education? Well, I'm not worried about the future. I have been in your classrooms and on your playing fields, at your concerts and your award ceremonies. I've watched you excel at academics, music, drama, and sports. I've seen you dedicate yourselves to learning, to JROTC, to community service, to jobs, and much more. I have watched you mature, and I have been inspired by your inclusiveness and acceptance of others, your faith, your patriotism, and your compassion. I know that some of you have faced staggering obstacles to your education, but with the help of family, or that special teacher or mentor, or the community, you have persevered. It required hard work, conviction, and determination on your part. 
Think of all the times you were ready to give up. You know, it would have been so much easier to quit, to skip school, to forget homework, to miss the test. But you didn't. You held yourselves accountable. You wanted to succeed, and you have. You have learned not only the basics of academics, but of teamwork, leadership, citizenship, creativity, civility, and self-control. And many of you have been kind enough to share your dreams and your plans for the future with us. And amazing dreams they are. No, we're not ready to hand over the keys to the country quite yet, and maybe not even the keys to the car. But this day marks the beginning of that process. Prepare yourselves well, my friends, because quicker than you can possibly imagine, it will all come to rest on you. And I think that there is every chance that someday you may be called the next great generation. As president of the Bethel Board of Directors, and on their behalf, I'm very proud to accept the class of 2019. Thank you, Ms. Rogers. Tonight's roll callers are two staff members that were selected by the senior class to announce their names here at graduation. They are Mr. Scar Scott Darby and Mr. Seth Arnsberger. Please take your positions. The presentation of the diplomas will be by directors Amy Pivita and John L. Manning of the Bethel School Board. Students, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Lillianne Scott, Savannah Fairbanks, Julia Catherine Hoffman, Kylan Wood Gibson. Anna Setsu Jaforis. <laughs> Noah Damon Cortez. <laughs> Pauline Bacara Bear. <laughs> Jeremy Donald Townsend. Bailey Marie Joubert. <laughs> Emily Kaylin Torrey. <laughs> Amanda Rachel McKinley. <laughs> Emma Elizabeth Pathy. <laughs> Lucas James Godfrey. Allison Brooke Patton. Alexis Toledo Dyson. Carly Daniel Randall. Matthew Horton Isle. Cole Swift Baker. Peyton M. Wynn. Casey Claire Scanlon. Avante Bishop. Grace Bethany Portman. 
Cade Duncanson. Braden Thomas Jackson. Caitlin Ravery. Noah Hopkins. Alejandro Maximo Torres. George Spencer Carter, Jr. Mariah Zoller. Lauren Grace Wyatt. Justin Ronnie Miller. Dylan Charles Barnett. Aiden Mariam Merid. Sander Andrado. Hannah Fromsorn. Anthony Joseph Talingo. Jenna Flores. Leon Batista Aposta. Carly Parkinson. Jade Barr. Dalton Dennis Hagley. Raquel Allison Chavez. Kalaj Bandari. Caitlin Smith. Randy Roman Vega. Jacob Hill. Brandy Roman Vega. Mercedario Tripoli. Carissa Victoria Solier. Kiara Lynn Huff. Woo! Karina Angela Solier. Amanda Ellen Hancock. Sunny Manuma Tui, Jr. Joda Matthew Silly. Serena Lauren Meyer. Alexis Olivia Owen. Destiny Storm Henry. Amanda Margaret Harm. Reese Renee Hill. Michael Harab. Kiera Rain Stevenson. Travis Lane Pomeroy. Levi Austin Leone. Austin R. Lundberg. Dylan Galvez. Jose Amaya. Darren Lee Stutsky. Karen Zumiga. Kaylee Kathleen Waugh. Olivia Hodges. Jillian Treese. Ethan Taylor. Malia Ashlyn Brown. Anna Corinne Miller. Megan Jane Pace. Matthew Martell Smith. Chloe Parsons. <laughs> Dylan McKay Kelly. <laughs> Kimberly Martinez Gonzalez. <laughs> Alexander Dagan Butner. <laughs> Connor Ratizic. 
Liam Vernon Dean Griffin. Riley Christopher Booge. Damia Pollard. Bailey Fields. Nathaniel Ray Thompson. Malika Jean Johnson. Jaden White. Tristan Lottie Goodman. Courtney Lee Congo. Jody Antonio Whitmar. Let's go, Jody! Jairo Ochoa. Edgar Martinez. Caleb Michael Krumpos. Jack Dvorak. Edwin Guzman. Cecilia Tierra Brown. Erica M. Ferranti. Taylor Monique Gamble. Sadira Marie Frederick. Daniel Talib Hodges. Brooke Lynn Hickson. Tyler Vick. Alyssa K. Marsh. Price Jensen Fairbanks. Jillian R. Tintle. Christopher Howell. Mason McCormick. Matthew William Sanisolo. Bryce Porter. Ryan Michael Millen. Riley Brandon Moore. Christopher Robert Barnes. Matthew Spain. Ash Harris. Zach Druzianik. <laughs> Gage Patrick Bunting. Isaiah Godfrey Johnson. <laughs> Jacob Morissette. <laughs> Braden Nelson. <laughs> Nicholas Brian Naramore. <laughs> Caprice Albert. <laughs> Mariah White. Todd Brockmiller, Jr. <laughs> Bailey Belche. <laughs> Elena O'Leary Norris. <laughs> Kennedy and Marie Williams. <laughs> Tatiana Lachey Hicklin. Cheyenne Marcel Wingington. Yabi Cheryl. Jaden Jean Larson. Lyasia Domine Aliyah Turner. Sloan Noel Pruitt. Morgan Olivia Knoll. Mary Catherine Gannon. <laughs> Catherine Ann Pollock. <laughs> Bailey Lynn Lapping. <laughs> Maggie Briner. <laughs> Abigail Mackenzie Atkinson. 
David Kennedy. Trevor R. Blankenship. Madison Aishin Clay. Tana Cheyenne Lizer. Michaela Widmer. Olivia Catherine Rashid. Serafina Zipora Garcia. Emma Jean Blanton. Sienna Marie Johnson. Jocelyn Morales Saris. Nicholas Albert Costanzo. Connor McBride Bishop. Gerald Covarubius Torres. Jalen McCormick. Bradley D. Haven Fitzgerald. Elena Michelle Pampa. Brianna Michelle Kirkov. Riley Lynn Mead. Thomas Velasovitz. Griffin Lee Wegletner. Dylan Paust. Kyle Bushman. Tabitha Nicole Talley. Savannah Marie Lopez. Kayla Elizabeth White. <laughs> Ashley Carnes. <laughs> Matthew Carlson. <laughs> Cameron Keith Shaver. <laughs> Leonardo Adrian Miles Hall. <laughs> Dayton William Leatherwood. James Turner. Yeah. Allison Nicole Catlett. Yeah. Darren Allen. Yeah. Jaden Olivia Scanlon. Yeah. Maverick Noble Brady. Yeah. Natalie Marie Burns. Cole Buckington. Courtney Ann Pitt. <laughs> Yasmin Elizabeth Munoz Serna. Callie Alexis Larson. Nichelle Galvin Ramirez. Jake Porter. Casey Renee Crane. Courtney Nicole Descolo. Aaron Jackson. Christopher Lee Sparks. Delana Raylin Segrist. Dylan Jacob Morse. Megan Nicole Cameron. Aaron Mitchell Omos. <laughs> Olivia Kaylee Rowe. <laughs> Brooklyn Cassette Puckett. <laughs> Brooklyn Paige Wilbur. <laughs> Yomita Lynn Chambers. Aiden Foss. <laughs> Skylynn Rose Mitchell. Crystal Scaife. Austin Lee Brinkley. <laughs> Courtney Carroll. <laughs> Naomi Glasgow. <laughs> Angelie Ichio. 
Cameron Serdal. Gabriel Andrew Thiessen. Faith Collins. Liam Hale Gannon. Delara Lynn Josephine, Josephine Tanya Vasa. Tysa Mahone. Jada Grasser. <laughs> Tyler Molner. <laughs> Paris Swin Massey. <laughs> Aiden Reese Bodro. Chloe Zella Rosner. Justin Neil Rigby. Tanner Ricardo Navarez. Ermun Zaya Batsingal. Madison Rebecca Castro. Chander Cole Robinson. Adora S. Hanramar. Mitchell Christopher Burwell. Elijah Matamoros. Nathan Meyer. Jared Dean Williams. Julia Jeltness Weary. Derek J. Price. Keegan Anthony Hodge. Aubrey Emma Winkler. <laughs> Bailey Miller. Trang Lee. Nicholas Ryan Kudo. Alexis Savi. <laughs> Zachary Alexander York. Altsy Amarambula Mendoza. Darian Maxwell Hingleton. Riel Diazade Smith. Liam Edling. Jasmine Denise Davis. Dylan Maurice Dudley. Alexandra Valdez. Zachariah Isaac Ray Gregson. Tatiana Luna Williams. Adam Michael Webster. Savannah Rose Benson. Logan Toller. Mark Edward Hemingway. Donovan Prescott Foster. Cody David Isle. Farah Parnell. Matthew Viegas. Ashley Kimberly Velasco Madora. Nathan Fork. Jamari Giovanni Pryor. Allison Gold. Uh, 
Amaritza Ario Acevedo. Myra Shazad. Jacob Wilkerson. Anthony Kapolis. Riley Thomas. Kimberly Farnsworth. Joshua Neiser. Madison Alexandra Marie Johnson. Joshua Carnahan. Brandy Chapman. Kendall Ryan Weaver. Zachary Daniel Lord. Kayla Malema. Gayton Garza. Kayla Sophia. Mackenzie Ann Leith. Kaylee O'Neill. Ryan Leith. Benjamin Gab Miller. <laughs> Gabrielle R Renee Noel Deming. Maria Rose Granada. Spencer Matthew Deese. Christian Thayer. Yeah! Kylie Southard. Mackenzie Guzman. Yeah! Sylvia Lene Holcomb. Jessica Romero. Jordan Christine Locke. Paige Duran. Maya Rawls. Angela Marie Brigelet. Chanel Marie Johnson. Faith Lenora Cooper. Noah Harvey. Angelina Linda K. Christian. Stanley Kinnear. Annika Lois Evanson. Bailey Alexandra Santos. Kauli Du. Lakeisha O'Brien. Kylie Thockhorton. Karanda Prater. Blake Walden. Tyler Lane Septum. Mason Williams. Ethan Sandman. Marcus Greco. <laughs> Hayden Riley Mosier. John Rader. Diego Antonio Rico. Delilah Day Culpepper. Brandon Michael Yosefo Ayers. Tyler Christensen. Taylor Lynn Reidinger. Demick Jones. Tiffany Ryan Stevenson. Matthew Belcourt. Emily Noel George. Cameron James Gustafson. Alexis Garcia. Yeah. 
Nipsey Orozco. Victor Anthony Fillion. James Hansen. Mackenzie Brinton. Carly Rochelle Soders. Carrington Irene Patterson. Kendra Elizabeth Bennett. Max Knightson. Darlene Marie Clevenger. Martina Gabrielli. Cassidy Hart. Tigerius Marquis George. Lauren Spencer. Austin Gibbs. Andrea Raymond. Raymond Jr. Cuchocho. Daniel Garten. Louise Manuel Leon Zandoval. Seth McAlpine. Jacob Scott Gordon. Jacob Houston. Kobe Cressy. Tyler Robert Sistrom. Ethan Teleporter. Colin Aaron Kelly. Tommy Loa. Christian Degano Molina. Samuel Ray Franco. Alejandro Jesus Garcia Corazo. Angel Perez. Kasim Mustafa Alabudi. Adriana Janelle Matyshowski. Akil Sidney. Jasmine Lene Wilmoth. Stephanie Valdez. Ian Scott Lebecki. Shariah Fizo Naki. Max DeVries. Keegan Eric Johnson. Isabella Reese Pensula. Rebecca Thompson. Sophia Renee Pensula. Zoe Styles Bennett. Austin Vincent. Juan Poawo Revelas Candel. Talia Annalee Singleton. Ladaren Samari Hunter. Jordan Nicole Williams. Isabella Danielle Ben. Samuel Ronald Lafferty. Olivia Rain Wilkins. Zaria Parker. Dane Morgan Tolson.
We'll give Dane a minute to put down his diploma case so he can come back up here. I told you to stick around. Come on back up, Dane. At this time, I would like to invite Dane Tolson to join me on the stage for your tassel ceremony. Fellow graduates, please stand. And now join me in the traditional tassel ceremony. Classmates, it is time for us to take the final step to graduate. At this time, please grab your tassel. Now move your tassel to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the graduates of Graham Kapowson High School, the class of 2019. guests and staff, please take your place for the recessional. <laughs> Honored guests and staff. In just a few moments, our graduates will be leaving through a tunnel of good wishes from our staff. They will be going out the north entrance only. Please remain seated until all graduates have filed out. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for one final time, the class of 2019. <laughs> Thank you.